Okay, so uh, so late fall, early winter, up to the end of December, the salmon start to expire. There's tons of salmon eggs floating around the river. The, the steelhead or migratory trout are coming in, and they're just gorging on those eggs. Egg flies are one of, one of your best bets for uh, for sort of midwinter steelheading. Tons of materials to tie these these egg flies. For uh, for clearer water, you want to tie really small single egg flies on maybe a size 16 hook. We've got some size 16 hooks here. Uh, anywhere, anywhere to maybe a size 12 egg fly hook. Uh, McFly foam is one of your best bets for, for tying really subtle, small, um, single egg flies. It's very trimmable material, has a really nice glow in the water, and you could spend probably five minutes afterwards with a, a fine pair of scissors trimming it into a perfect sphere and just making that ideal single egg fly. In dirtier water conditions, if you want maybe a larger, chunkier type uh, uh, egg imitation, you can use the, uh, the actual egg yarn, like Superfly egg yarn. It's a little bit cheaper. Uh, it's a little harder to work with, but if you're not looking for um, you know, you know, e exact uh, imitation of an egg fly, you just want something that's going to be visible in the water and looks roughly uh, the same, um, you can use this as well. Uh, if you want to refer to uh, the, the fall issue of the Flyfish Ontario magazine um, at flyfishontario.ca, it's in the upper left-hand corner. There's an article in there about the chunky, and that's a fly that we designed uh, using um, cactus chenille and polar chenille tied in front of it. The cactus chenille still creates sort of a sphere type look, but it's very flashy. And the polar chenille wrapped in front of it, once it's in the water and gets wet, it kind of milks around the, uh, the body and looks almost like a, like a milking chunk of skein, uh, potentially even a, a chunk of, of salmon flesh. So for that, you'd want to use, uh, you'd need your polar chenille in uh, either white or amber, that's tied in front. Uh, when you see the fly in the magazine, if you go and check it out, you'll, you'll see exactly how it's tied. It's a very simple pattern to tie. Um, you can also use beads, bead flies. If you, uh, you tie monofilament onto your, your egg fly hook, wrap it once around the, uh, the bead just to have it sort of uh, piggybacking the, the egg fly hook, you can't really get much more realistic than that. And in a faster current, um, if, you know, if, if a migratory trout sees that, it's gonna snap it up quick. It doesn't have the same uh, texture and feel, realistic feel as maybe a McFly single fly egg, but again, in fast current conditions, uh, the trout aren't gonna have time to think about it. So egg flies are, or sorry, bead, bead uh, egg flies are, are a popular bet as well.